Woo! <laughs> I'm sure you guys already noticed that there's so many bars around the world switching from plastic straws to metal, bamboo, glass, reusable, silicon. It was really nice to find out that uh, such big corporations like uh, MGM, Grand, Caesars Entertainment in Las Vegas, they all removing plastic straws from their bars. So and today I will show you a few really cool tricks with the metal straw. I chose specifically a metal straw instead of let's say bamboo or any other straws just because it reminds me of the bar spoon and it's really really easy to do all kind of tricks with it. So let's get started. Trick number one, little throw, reverse and then place it into the glass. If it's too hard for you, you can use let's say left hand, reverse grip, you see it? And then you just start with little, one, two, and then you go further, so you take a straw, reverse grip, spin and place it. Check it out one more time. See, like let's say this is how you get, need to practice first few times. One, two, and uh, take it with your thumb and index and place it. Now really quick, one, two, three. <laughs> if that one's too easy, you can do it with two straws the same way. Reverse grip, you hold it with your thumb. This is the grip where you hold the first straw and then just practice catch a few times. One, two, and then do twist. That one I would recommend to do it from left to right, but you also can do it from right to right. So for example, you take it, uh, do flat, one, two. To make it look a little more impressive, you can do it with the spin. I show it to you flat, which is the easiest, but you can do it this way. You take it upside down and then catch it like this, spin and place it. But that's not my favorite, I still prefer to throw flat like this, one, two. But as a variation, you can do either half spin or you can do the full spin, both in your right hand, one, two, boop, boop. Keep in mind that you rotate only one straw. So this one, that one, just naturally uh, just turn. Always try to catch in this area, try to avoid obviously this part and the one that goes into the drink. Don't forget the basic spin like this. Uh, see the difference? In the first one we just uh, hold fingers reverse. Here you take it just with your two fingers and with your uh, middle finger you kind of push up. So one spin and you place it into the drinks. Uh, you can do it this way or this way. So it looks the same, uh, pretty cool. You, you just uh, kind of like turn it 360. So it looks really nice. This one will be pretty original but uh, slightly harder. Let's say you're making gin tonic and you do it this way. You take jigger with your thumb and index and then uh, straw, just uh, catch it reverse grip, it'll be upside down. And then you pour your vodka or gin, you pour, whoop. <laughs> of course at the beginning practice with plastic bottle and then there you go. So that's the catch, upside down, pour and practice few times. Next option using a bar napkin and a straw. Pom, pom, pom. Okay, you have your finished drink. You put your garnish, you're ready to place it on napkin and you do it this way. Straw in left hand, take a napkin, you do spin, change, place, place, place. <laughs> that one actually the easiest, basically what, you, what I did, our regular napkins, you connect it here and it's, this, is, this is just how you hold it. Instead of like on the full hand, you basically hold it only with like uh, three uh, fingers. Place it and at the same time place into the drink straw. And next one would be for my advanced bartender, just because it's a little bit harder. Throw garnish, you put it upside down, place, catch, and then you put them together. Boop. Just in case if you haven't learned this move in my previous tutorial with a spoon, so you just need to catch, shake bottom down, like one, two, and then make sure it's straight so it's not going this way. Practice just with the garnish first. You can either place it or you can make it look better and throw it inside, uh, put a reverse grip, and then catch it a few times, so make sure it's not falling out, and it's always in the same spot. It's not like going from here to here, it's pretty hard. Uh, you just do it in front of you, up, up, down, so it's 360. Whoop! It's really, really easy to do with metal, much easier than with plastic straws, one, two. And then you put it there. It's kind of hard, you would need to practice just for a few minutes because you need to catch two objects at the same time. So my beginners and all this struggle and to catch shaker. Thank you guys for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing. Hit like button like this and I will see you next week.